uh, elimination process in the year of 2016. And taking this, uh, opening the opportunity that the uh, Swat Bharat Mission, which the Prime Minister announced in 2014, the cleanliness surrounding that is very much uh, incorporated in other activities. Of course, mosquito breeding is a one issue where we really need to look into. And uh, again, under NHM program, we have a kind of machine, which is the cleanliness of the hospital surrounding the entire community. That is uh, another opportunity we really feel that we can work on the opportunity of uh, enhancing our activities. During the opportunity in the presence of our novel advisor, again, we need to have, we have a, some area of concern in Nagaland, uh, such as uh, we have a, a porous international border. And unfortunately, in the other side of the mine bar, there's no such activities that the government of Nagaland has like this. When I was in, uh, working at the NSEC also, in the other side of the country, we did have a malaria activity, uh, HIV activity. Now, they didn't have a malaria control activity over here because of some little, because of uh, many reasons which you also know and known today. So that is uh, one area of concern. Another area of concern is Magalim is coming up with a lot of uh, two land, four land, and many uh, development construction coming up. And there, it, and due to unplanned activities, a lot of uh, water body that is leading to mosquito breeding, which is a vector for malaria transmission. So uh, taking your presence and the opportunity alone uh, to request the government of Nagaland to bring up some legislation goal like uh, urban, now urban malaria is an area of concern again. That's a lot of uh, undrained, undrained, unplanned drainage areas, stagnation of water, a lot of water, artificial water body is present all over. So if the municipal are incorporated in making this and new things are coming up, other development will come up, make sure that the uh, water bodies are prevented so that the mosquito breeds can be stopped. Another we have a area of concern is that there are many imports of labor force in the area without proper checking. And that is another area of course, as I have said earlier, eight cases have been important cases, not of the indigenous. Indigenous means which Remain in Nagaland, but that, that to do the important uh, from outside Bihar and some other maybe churches there, Otanka. So, do the labor coming from far away outside Nagaland that need to be checked and they really need to have a compulsory mandatory testing, malaria testing, before actually coming into the Nagaland so that the, the import will be uh, prevented. So, another migrants. Nagaland being a developing a lot of migrants are moving around, but in close the paramilitary movement. And paramilitary, we don't have much hand to control them, but uh, we can assure government with the uh, higher up and military higher up also to make sure that whoever can transport to Nagaland should undergo a compulsory testing. That was uh, one area. And Nagaland is encouraging a lot of tourism. So tourism also, uh, we need to have a uh, Mentally, malaria free testing, but I think if a government can pick up that work, that will be very, uh, uh, that will be a boost for our Nagaland state to have complete elimination of the world. And so that is a, a few keynote address which I want to share with all of you. And I really tell you so for making the time available and having, uh, having a patient here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Anybody else say I give thanks and glory to our living, to our mighty God for this sustenance and for giving us this beautiful day. I am honored and privileged to be here with you all this morning on this historic and uh, significant day. I was <coughs> brought with a request from the Honorable Minister of the Health and Family Welfare. He really wanted to come over to be with you all this day, but because of this free and unavoidable 
engagement elsewhere. He was not uh, he has uh, wasn't able to make out his time. So in the process of that, he called me up personally to take his part. So in that line, I have consented to be here. We will just come over, say a word, and to extend our solidarity, the support of the government to the health workers, medical fraternity, and to the health workers, workers at grassroots. Our respected chairperson of the day program, Dr. Chorse, here, Asha workers, friends, from the media, both print and electronics. As been stated, the 25th of April every year, starting from the world from the year 2007, the world community has been celebrating the day as a world malaria day. We understand, we understand and we know the background of how we started. If I'm going to if I'm going to take back the first back memory of the department, I think it started with, with an under the initiative of the African government, known as African Malaria Day in the year 2001. Taking stock of the situation, the importance and urgency to address and to arrest the menace of malaria. The World Health Organization, the WHO, through its assembly, has adopted the World Malaria Day in year 2007. And in the subsequent year, starting from 2008, the 25th of April, every year became the World Malaria Day. And here we are today, commemorating the day. Our effort and our commitment to fight against malaria to eradicate it under the team harness innovation to reduce malaria disease and save lives. It is a day for all of us to come together to share a concern to extend solidarity and to bring our heads together, reiterate, reaffirm our commitment, our initiative to control and to fight against malaria, to reduce malaria related mortality within the world community. And also, it is a day for us, especially the medical workers, to celebrate in our successful efforts in controlling and in reducing the burden of malaria within an individual community, isolated community, or the world community at large together. Since 2002, the world under the active engagement and involvement of the medical and world health communities have made tremendous and significant progress in the fight to control and contain the affliction of malaria. However, despite of much effort and commitment given in this direction, still today, still today, the world community, half of the world population, are left exposed, vulnerable, and are at risk from this preventable and treatable disease, which causes a child's life every minute globally. And in this context, statistical context, India represents or consists 3% of the global malaria fatality. The government of India, since then, taking stock of the vulnerability, vulnerability of the human life to this disease, it started its fight against the malaria in a war footing and over the, since over the past decade, 
significant achievement on the reduction and control of malaria cases has been made. The government of India further efforting on is accelerating and is investing all our effort to pace up its progress towards the complete attainment of malaria elimination there is zero indigenous cases of malaria with a target set for the year 2027 and also to sustain the status of zero malaria cases for the three subsequent successive years till 2030. Policies, programs have been formulated and have been done such, but we still need to further intensify our effort, our fight against the contaminant of malaria to reduce the burden further and achieve the target, the goal that is been set before us. The day definitely calls for a reaffirmation of a political commitment towards the cause to sustain financial support and also it calls for a day, it calls on the side of the government to come up and to frame a policy and program, a robust and action pack oriented policy and program from the government side to counter and to overcome the challenge that has been set. It also further calls upon the different communities for equal partnership, for equal responsibility and ownership over the challenge that has been set, which I believe can come about through a series of awareness campaigns and seminars at different levels from the national to the state to the district and to the sub-districts and so on. As been stated by Dr. Nintosia, in his keynote address, the state government of Nagaland is happy to know that the state of Nagaland under the supervision, under the commitment of the officers under the department, is only a step away from being a malaria free state. And it's also a top contender in a race towards malaria elimination in the Northeast region. It is noteworthy to mention that the state will also be receiving an award under the category of the best performing states for controlling malaria cases for the year 2021 at NDV today. I congratulate the department, the officers, the staffs, and all the frontline workers, especially our dear ASHA workers, for the relentless effort made, and also to the rural communities for the solidarity and the support and the cooperation extended. As per the statistics that is being provided by the department, starting from the year 2016, as stated by our keynote address, in a keynote address by Dr. Nitoshi, there were about 8,000 plus positive cases that were reported in the court district. And down the line today, we have, in 2021, we have only eight cases that have been reported and have been registered. This is a huge achievement made by the health workers, and I wish more successes and more achievement in our collective fight against malaria. Policies, programs, and support 
will come from the department to the department, will come from the government, get it rooted through the department to fight and to eliminate malaria. But the honors and the responsibility, the burden to overcome and to completely eliminate malaria should not be left to the concerned department and health workers alone. The involvement of the internal sectoral departments like the urban development, like the public health engineering department, works and housing, municipal and urban departments, fisheries, forest, education, information public relations department, the NGOs, the rural communities, private health providers, etc. Coming together will definitely go a long way in supporting and aiding and effectively go a long way in our effort to eliminate malaria in the state. So let us all today reaffirm, recommit, and join all our efforts together to make our world, to make our nation, to make our state, to make our district, our community, and our family to be free and to be insured against the infliction of the malaria. I am happy to note the achievement and the commitment and seriousness of the department. And I'm also have taken note of the submissions given by the uh, director, uh, by the doctor, Dr. Itoshi, on the concern that we have raised. Definitely, I, as a state official yesterday here, I'll be conveying back the seriousness and the urgency that has been conveyed to me to the concerned department. And definitely, we have hoped that certain positive <coughs> initiatives will be taken up by the government in the new of time. I, with these few notes, I wind up my speech. And once again, I thank you all for giving me this opportunity to come over here to extend my solidarity. And I, at the end, further wish the best to all the officers and congratulate the ASHA workers who have been performing exceedingly well. May God continue to guide us, help us. Thank you. God bless and good day. Kirin Hinsanyo Rosoma and Vicky Tonyo. So, sir, may I request to give away to you? Thank you, you give away to our shell workers. Please, I call on Kenny Kenyo. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dimapur viewers, we are on channel number 10 in Global Chapter. And for Kohima and Mokokchung viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.